This is Orn, the fire below the mountain. Orn likes to do things himself, like building items. Instead of bothering with shopkeepers, he builds his own. And when the Ram God decides it's time for a team fight, he moves mountains to start one. Welcome to the Orn Champion Spotlight. No further pleasantries needed. Orn has two passes. The first is Living Forge. It lets Orn spend gold to build non-consumable items for himself anytime he's out of combat. Build items by opening the shop anywhere on the map and spending gold like normal. Just for convenience, you can also build things by clicking items shown in this menu. That's a weapon, you know, for fighting. Orn's second passive is Master Craftsman. It gives Orn and his teammates access to special upgrades for a few items in the shop. Each champion on Orn's team is limited to just one special item. Orn's Q is Volcanic Rupture. Orn slams the ground, dealing damage and slowing enemies in a line. After a short delay, a magma pillar forms at its maximum range, or right behind the first enemy champion struck, whichever comes first. The pillar works like a wall, but does not knock up enemies. Orn's W is Bellows Breath. Orn belches out flames that deal damage based on the enemy's current health and shields himself for a short duration. While Bellow's Breath is active, Orn is unstoppable, which means that any incoming crowd control won't have any effect until the ability completes. The final burst of Bellow's Breath makes any struck enemies become brittle. This is a brand new status effect in League, so let's explain how it works. When brittle, enemies lose tenacity. Think of it like negative mercury treads. Things like stuns and slows last longer when used on these targets. Brittle enemies that are struck by hard crowd control take bonus damage. This consumes the debuff. There's one other effect that's unique to Orn. Basic attacking a brittle target knocks them back and consumes the debuff. Orn's E is Searing Charge. Orn charges, displacing and damaging enemies in his way. If Orn collides with terrain while charging, he stops, creating a shockwave that damages and knocks up nearby enemies. This ability destroys terrain created by enemy champions. Barely touched it. It also destroys Volcanic Rupture's pillar. Pull off Orn's basic combo by getting close enough to lightly roast enemies with Bellows Breath. Once they're good and brittle, turn up the heat with a searing charge into nearby terrain for the knockup. If you can charge into Volcanic Rupture's pillar, it'll be a job extra well done. Orn's ultimate is Call of the Forge God. Orn summons a massive elemental that charges toward him. Enemies run over by the elemental are damaged, slowed, and made brittle. Singed fur. Orn can recast this ability to headbutt the elemental, redirecting it. The rebounding ram will deal the same effects as before, except knocking enemies up instead of slowing them. A mistimed headbutt will leave Orn feeling sheepish. Your ultimate can be an amazing setup tool for allied crowd control. Catch them in the Forge God Stampede, then tag them into a wall to make them feel extra ornery. Hey! You may want to max W first for the wave clear. It's his most reliable ability. Horns ah, first! I've seen sturdier sand castles. If your enemies think they know your item build, use Living Forge to pull the wool over their eyes. Here, Orn sneakily crafts a Righteous Glory. He then activates it to hoof down Blitzcrank and ram him into a wall, allowing his team to catch up and bring Blitzcrank to the scrap heap. This is called building character. Use your passive to forge items in lane that give an immediate advantage against your opponent. For example, forge an early Spectre's Cowl into heavy magic damage. To hammer at home, think about forging a war mogs when you're low on health to stay on the map. Good job, everyone. As Orn, it's your job to bring the team fight. Call of the Forge God has a fixed distance, so try to place it in a spot that cuts off your opponent's path. Then stay away from enemy crowd control so you can stick the redirect. Let's put it all together for a team fight. 
You want to start out the fight with both passes of Call of the Forge God. When the baddies are knocked up, drop your Q pillar and get ready to follow up with a Searing Charge. And now for the finishing touches. Stay in the fight with Bellow's Breath and trigger the Brittle debuff as often as you can to take down enemies of all shapes and sizes. Even my beard is angry! Thanks for tuning in to the Orange Champion Spotlight. Aren't you glad there weren't more puns? Stop it. I know, they were really corny. Smash the hotlinks below to learn more about the fire below the mountain.